All right, here's the plan. This video is going to have three phases as we take these seven modded units and put them to the test. The first phase, we're going to take a look at the modded units, check out the models, and see how much work Omega has put into them. In the second phase, we're going to test the units, see how powerful they are, and they destroy some of our other favorite modded units. And then in the third and final phase, we're going to have a grand melee, and these guys are going to flood the screen, my computer is probably going to melt, and we're going to go from there. This is the uh, SpongeBob unit. He's uh, something special. I love the outfit. It looks fantastic. And is he wielding Minecraft swords? Is that what's going on? And why are his teeth green? Ugh. What have you been eating, SpongeBob? He also has a weird seam here. You can see inside SpongeBob. If you ever wanted to see inside SpongeBob, well, now you can. And it's kind of weird. Not to mention the fact he has very long human legs, and that's kind of strange. Next up on our list, we have the banana unit. Dual wielding bananas with chunks taken out of them. I love the fact that the modder can now import models into the game. It's really cool. I wonder how strong this banana unit is. Wait a minute. Those things in his hands are just smaller versions of his outfit. Look, head hole, arm holes. Oh, after him, we have the hot dog unit, dude. Look at this hot dog outfit. This is phenomenal. I love it. Why is the hot dog kind of pushing out of the button in the back? That's a little strange and a little sexual. And we're not gonna go from there. After the hot dog unit, we have this vile, disgusting, vulgar, smelly, disgusting, gross, 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 gross pickle. I hate pickles. Pickles are the most disgusting thing on the planet. And here we have the pickle unit. I look forward to killing you, my disgusting friend. After the pickle unit, we have this wizard. It's listed as a wizard, but the fact that he has a staff and a sword, and a pipe, and a long beard, makes me think of Gandalf. Is this Gandalf? What do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know if you think this is Gandalf. After Gandalf, we have this guy who is Taco Man, sitting here with tacos, more like burritos in his hand. I love this one, bro. I love, love the mustache. The mustache completes Taco Man. And finally, the seventh unit is this guy. Water gun kid. He's legit called Water Gun again. And look how short he is. He's tiny compared to everyone else. And this Water Gun model is awesome. It is perfect. In fact, I would want one of these myself to spray my daughter with. I think she'd get a kick out of that. And the hat is great. First flight, we're going to check out Banana Man. Equal value bananas versus clubbers. And the Banana Man have a lunge attack. And they move in and they're smacking people with the bananas. I almost thought they'd throw them. Like a boomerang? Could you imagine if you had banana rangs? I think that'd be hilarious. Is that possible? I'm not even sure if a banana boomerang mechanic is available in the game. And the banana men are sturdy. Look how much damage they've dealt. And now, if you look around, not a single banana man has died. How much HP do these bananas have? And this is quite the uh, banana pie going on over here. Quick test, I want to see how strong the banana men are. I pitted them against an even greater value of mammoths. Will they be able to defeat the- Oh, oh, there's dead mammoths over here. Oh, oh my god, they crushed the mammoths. What? Why are these bananas so strong? What is wrong with you? The banana men were strong. Now we're going to take a look at the hot dog men. Are the hot dog men going to be able to deal the same amount of damage as the banana men? So again, they're melee only. They didn't have the lunge. The banana man had but they do smack people with their bananas and so far oh there are a handful no they're alive i thought they were dead oh these hot dogs are durable these hot dogs will kick your butt and these hot dogs don't care about no 300 spartans if the persians just had hot dog men they would have won oh. oh hold on there's some dead ones hey you ever wondered what a hot dog man would look like when he died Kind of a weird question, but there he is. Dead hot dog man. Hot dogs strewn everywhere on the ground. But ultimately, they did win. Now, how will they fare against four samurai giants? This is like triple the amount of points. And the samurai giants just slice the hot dogs in half. And one hot dog is going down the river. Bye. Bye. It seems like all the hot dogs are alive and all the samurai giants are still going. It's a pretty good fight. I'm actually impressed. How much damage is a hot dog deal? Now, the bananas quickly made work of all those mammoths. These giants 
They're doing work. Look, there's hot dogs on the ground. The hot dog men are losing to the Giants. What? There's only two hot dogs left. Well, they did lose one out the river, which is kind of awkward. But now it's four Giants versus one poor, defenseless hot dog man. You poor thing. All right. In the comments down below, get it out of your system. We have Pickle Rick jokes. Oh, the ranged units. Oh, no, they throw their pickles. They throw their pickles. I chose accidentally the correct units to fight these guys because the samurais do deflect. I didn't know they threw their pickles because they look just like the banana ones and the hot dog ones. But the pickle units throw their pickles as ranged weapons. And the samurai are now inside of them. But look, there's a lot of dead samurai on the ground. These pickles deal some damage. Oh, man. The points of these tree giants outnumber the pickles 10 to 1. There's 50 points of ice giants, and by ice giants, I mean tree giants, versus 5,000 points of pickle men. Will they be able to kill the tree giants before they get close? And the answer is a big fat no. Yes, yes, crush the pickles, destroy the... I hate pickles so much, they're so gross. Kill the pickles, go my tree giants. Broccoli versus Pickle. Broccoli is the superior vegetable. I think we can all agree. Is pickle a vegetable? I think it is. But broccoli is so much better than pickles. And if you disagree with me, well, you're just wrong. And that's fine. It's okay to be wrong because broccoli wins in the end. Up next, continuing our food strategy, we have Taco Man. And Taco Man does throw his burritos, his tacos, and that's not a lot of damage. I was expecting a little bit more than that. The taco men, it seems like they have potions in their hands. If you look, they're holding on to potions, but the tacos don't deal a lot of damage and they're having a hard time with the numbers. In fact, some of the taco guys are down. Now, the farmers are not very strong. So slowly but surely, the taco men are dealing the job, but that was not nearly as impressive as I was hoping. I wonder how they'll do against something a bit stronger. Tacos versus broccoli. Again, broccoli is superior, and this is an equal point fight. Equal points of taco men versus giant trees. And guys, broccoli will crush a burrito. Now, I love burritos. They're like one of my favorite foods ever. But look how quick these broccoli machines worked. That was nuts. Up next, we have the water gun kids. And again, I love how short they are. They did a great job demonstrating that these are in fact, children. But what do these water guns even do? Let's find out. Full speed? Are you shooting little water pellets? What are these? Do they deal damage? Oh no, the head butter just jumped in on the kids. This is child abuse. This is terrible. Who would do? Why are they purple? Why, why are they purple? Oh, they start off as blue, but then they turn purple. And I don't think... The water deals any damage, guys. No, it might. It has to. There are dead headbutters on the ground. But the little water gun guys are, um, they might win. They might pull this off. I don't know. I like how they're waving their guns in the air, but still somehow shooting things. I think that's the best part. These guys are cute. These guys are fun. They're not very strong. But then again, they weren't meant to be strong. And they shoot cubes of water. Now, if this is Minecraft, that would make sense. But this isn't Minecraft. They should be shooting water, not cubes, not ice cubes. I've never seen a water gun shoot ice cubes. But in the end, they are better than the headbutters. But they're not going to be better than much else. Now it's time for the wizard unit. This is the Gandalf guy. And I'm very curious to see what he's going to do against us. What kind of magic spells? Is oh, whoa, something happened. So, 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 something happened. I don't know what that was. Dude's just disappeared. So he's firing off random projectiles, but a bunch of enemies literally just disappeared. Oh, they disappeared again. Um, look, Gandalf is falling down the pit after the ball rock. I've never seen this before. I want to see that again. What did he do? What kind of spells can he cast? So he's facing his army. He shot an arrow. Half of them disappeared. Like, just disappeared. They're gone. Did they just disintegrate into thin air? Firework arrows. Okay, so he fires random projectiles. Oh, what? Where did that axe come from? And it just wiped out all these people. <laughs> this guy's flying around in a firework. Who's? What did? What? Where? Where? Where are the enemies? 
are they in the ground? Did he shove them into the ground? Did Gandalf shove the enemies into the ground? You are terrifying. Now the moment I've been wondering, SpongeBob. SpongeBob's got some speed, SpongeBob's got some moves, and he does attack with this little Minecraft sword. I wish SpongeBob had like some massive ultimate ability, some sort of like huge explosion or something crazy. Now, how much HP does he have? Oh, he has a ton of HP and a good amount of speed. Now, I wonder if someone like, I don't know, One Punch Man could beat SpongeBob. Could Goku beat SpongeBob? Could, well, Shaggy beat SpongeBob? I think it's time we find out in some epic battles. We're going to take an army of our new units. All of our food units are our military army, as well as our three leaders in the back. Gandalf, SpongeBob, and Water Gun Boy, because he needs to be protected from everything because he's a little kid. Versus the Avengers featuring Sonic and Wolverine. Let's see what happens. Can our heroes take down the food army? Because in tabs, we have food armies. In three, two, one, go. Sonic zooming in. Oh, wow. Sonic went right to the back. That is insane. We do have ranged units. Hopefully, they can deal some damage on Iron Man up here. Captain America and Thor. There's Black Widow doing flips and stuff over here in this direction. And it seems like Wolverine is in on the leaders of Gandalf and such right now. Where's Cap? There's Cap. He's still alive and going. Hawkeye is down. Iron Man is still firing. Who's left alive? What do we got over here? There's Sonic still doing his thing. Who else is in this pile? Hold on. Is it Sonic versus all these guys? That is crazy. Black Widow is down. Iron Man is still alive. Iron Man is being pelted by pickles. And tacos and Iron Man died to pickles. Are you kidding me? Sonic seems to be the only one that's alive. Surprisingly, he's the most durable of all the heroes. But in the end, the food army featuring the leaders of Gandalf and such, they won. SpongeBob won. Up next, we're going to take our food army with our three leaders versus the ice giant army of equal value. In three, two, one. Go full speed, pickles being thrown, tacos being thrown, bananas jump in, and then the hot dogs kind of like work their way in nice and slow. The wizard Gandalf versus the ice giants. That's a pretty cool. Oh, who would who would happen? Oh my god, something crazy happened there. Gandalf cast a spell of some sort, and I love how everyone's ignoring the little kid shooting people with ice pellets. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna shoot you. Look how tiny he is in the ankles of these giants. Oh, oh, the wizard does wizard things. Oh my god. What is that? What happens when Gandalf does that? Yo, where's SpongeBob? Has anyone seen uh, SpongeBob? Wow. Wow, Gandalf single-handedly destroys these armies. Grabbing our army once again, the food army with the three leaders, including Gandalf, versus a single killable Saitama, who looks completely uninterested in this fight, and that sounds about right. Can Saitama defeat all of this, or will Gandalf cast a crazy spell and send him into the netherworld in three, two, one, go? Saitama blinks in. Saitama went right for the back line. Let's pause. He went right for the back line. Good for him going for Gandalf. That's extremely intelligent. He is the most important fighter on that field. Now, Satama does have a deflect ability, which is very powerful. He's in amongst this entire arm. Where'd he go? No, don't tell me he blinked through the ground. Or did Gandalf cast a spell? I think Satama needs help. All right, guys, we gave One Punch Man some help. We gave him Ultra Instinct Goku and Shaggy. Are you ready for this? Their power is maximal. They won't even use 0.000001% of their power to defeat this army in three, two, one, go. Blinked in. Oh my God, did you see those bananas go flying? Dude, someone's got to kill Gandalf. Someone's got to kill Gandalf. If you don't, yes, yes. Ultra Instinct Goku was in on Gandalf. Gandalf is down. Gandalf is down. They're going to win this now. Without the wizard doing wibbly wobbly magical stuff, Ultra Instinct Goku and Shaggy and One Punch Man are going to make short work of all of these units. There's Shaggy going in on these bananas. There's Goku going in on the hot dogs. And in fact, guys, I think the killable Saitama was cast into the ground 
by the wizard before Goku got to finish him off. Guys, Shaggy and Goku are going to win this. Screw you, hot dogs. Screw you, bananas. And especially you, pickles. You can die. I am now the Chicken King, and I'm facing none other than Captain America. Here's a plan. I'm going to spawn chickens. And they're going to trip off Cap. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. The respawn on this... Oh, guys, look how many chickens I can spawn. Look at how many chickens we can summon. <laughs> Poor Cap. Captain America couldn't do anything. Oh, 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 oh. He's coming for us. Captain wants us. What if I give you some more chickens to deal with? <laughs> this is actually unfair. I can infinitely stay back as the Chicken King and just endlessly summon a giant, humongous pile of... Look at them all. Look at all those chickens juggling Captain America. You are a poor, defenseless defender of the people who can't get past some poultry. <laughs> I love it to death. And that's all she wrote. Poor Captain America. Done in by a small army of chickens. Oh, I want to see what happens when I take control of the new laser minigun guy and fire at a bunch of hobbits. This is going to be awesome. Give me. Laser minigun guy firing. Oh. Okay, this thing shoots a lot faster than I expected. This is crazy. Ready? Oh my god, I love it. First person, there we go. Now we're in sheer first person. Hey, little hobbits. Get away from me. Yes. Get off. Where'd he go? Is he like in my ankles? Oh, this is how far he went. Hold on. I've got a little ankle bite here, guys. Get off my leg. Get off my leg. <laughs> I love this unit so much. It's so good. What about the Omega King? This guy has a couple of swords. What is he like to take control of? Third person? First person with the swords. Yes, this is what I need right here. What's the space bar do? Space bar is a lunge away ability. Left click and oh my god. First person view is way too disorienting. It is hard to see amongst all the angles. Even third person is a little awkward. Man, hold on. Let's go over here. Let's just go over here. Turn around. Ah, <laughs> this is so much fun. I love that you can use third person and third person view of modded characters. I mean, doing it with like ice giants and stuff is kind of cool, but getting in here with a crazy modded character that can do stuff like that is just awesome. Little lunch tactics. All right, let's see if we can get in here and ruin some of these giants day. Now, the Omega King does take damage. Look. He has lost some HP, and I'm stuck on the ground doing a crab walk, and I can't attack. Wow, these giants have done some damage to me, and they're hard to kill. But overall, oh, 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 there's a giant over there hiding around a pillar. Should we go and say hello and not flop over the legs of my fallen comrades? Hello, Mr. Giant. Good day to you, sir. I've got these two beautiful swords for you. And that's all she wrote, sir. I absolutely forgot that there was the new Sonic in this mod. And I've always wanted to beat up Trump because, you know, beating up Trump. And that's the plan. First person Sonic. Let's go. Oh my God. My limbs are everywhere. Okay. Third person Sonic. There we go. Look at him go. Just dancing around Trump like, hey, Trumpy. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Name's Sonic. I'm a... Freaky, dicky, humanoid character. What's up, buddy? Uh, boom! Oh, oh, I just one-shot Trump. What? Oh, I did not expect that at all. That was not satisfying enough. So I've got like 15 Trumps over there. Uh, da boom! Oh, oh, no way. Sonic has an infinite deflect, guys. Look at this Sonic just deflecting everything in first person view. Are you kidding me? This is so cool. Let's end this, though. There's just so much going on, and I'm trying to kill these Trumps. I'm so busy deflecting their cots right back at them. Get the Trumps dead. There we go. It's finally over. Sonic has defeated 15 <laughs> Trumps. What's it like to be a troll giant? What is it like to just come on over and smack the ground of all these clubbers? My club versus their club oh that is so cool and it's got a fast respawn look at that that left click comes back really quickly what does space do i could jump 
I can actually jump as a troll? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Get off my ankles. Get off my ankles. First person view. Yo, look at my torso. Get off my ankles. Get away from me, you stupid, stupid clubbers. <laughs> oh my god. This, this is just so much fun. I love, like, playing with them and summoning them and getting them to do things is fun, but taking control of these modded units is the best. Yeah, this is going to be hilarious. The chicken minigun who fires chickens into the pile of giants pretty much acting as a distraction now i don't think the chickens actually deal damage but what i'm doing is now sadly you cannot hold down left click you have to actually rapidly click it i use two fingers ah pretty much oh uh, no they're getting kind of close no 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 stay away from the chicken minigun guy just keep fighting those chickens now do the chickens deal damage on impact or do they just summon kind of like snakes are they snakes? Are they actually snake models? Or snake units covered in a chicken model? Now we're going to escalate the battle, guys. I'm going to become the god of everything and annihilate all the food over there. I am sorry in advance. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, how about another volley? There you go. Oh, there's some guys live over here. Let's get these guys over here. Let's go first person mode. Oh, 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 there's some people alive. They're not dead yet. God of everything launching everything, literally. But we'll say, these guys are quite durable. And I'm trying not to launch too much at once because I know how laggy it can be. No, get away from me. Get away from me. I'm the god of everything. Get away from me. Are they dead? Are they dead? There's, oh, there's a hot dog beneath me. Hey, buddy. Point blank hot dog blast. <laughs> that poor hot dog got smacked by everything. Now, we're SpongeBob. I'm going to be SpongeBob versus Thor. I think we can take him. If I give him a couple of good... Oh, oh, maybe not. I'm pretty sure SpongeBob is right here. Got knocked in. Oh, he's alive. SpongeBob won. What? I thought you lost. All right, then what about Captain America? What if we fought Cap with SpongeBob? Go in there. Oh, gave the Cap a bit of a trip. Get the mule near away from me, Cap. Oh, I'm already hurting. I'm already hurting. Okay, give him a left and a right and a left and a double smack. Double sw... Uh, we won! We beat Captain America! SpongeBob beat Captain America? All right, can we beat Thor and Captain America as the amazing SpongeBob? Just get in there. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Is there friendly fire? Are Cap and Thor killing each other? Something I've always wondered, am I able to take control of the wizard and wreak havoc like he can? So if I use the space bar a Ability. Left click does that. Right click does that. I'm firing projectiles. I'm firing projectiles. Spacebar launched a whole bunch into the sky. Keep clicking. I'm hitting spacebar. I'm hitting left click and right click. I'm hitting everything at once. Now, the wizard, when I'm not controlling him, send people. Um, can you get off my ankles? Oh, there's a living one. Oh, he's gone. Who? What? What did I do? I didn't do that. How? How did I do that? How did I do that? Did I, did I cast a spell? I'm hitting spacebar as much as I can. And there, now my wand is doing things. See the wand there? It's glowing multiple colors. There is a Eulerax out of nowhere. Oh no, I just launched myself through the map. No, Gandalf, no. As we continue our quest to try and find the most fun character to play as, I'm going to become Shaggy, something I've never done before. And I have a funny feeling this is going to be amazing. We're now Shaggy. If I click, yep, I get in there, and I punch, and I send vegetables, and fruit, flying, and hot dogs. And I have a deflectability? Get your pickles away from me, disgusting, vile, pickle grossness. I will punch. Oh, Shaggy's way too strong. Shaggy, Shaggy's like one punch man, but better. Because Shaggy's not even using like half his power. That is such 